Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm just going to do a quick video showing you two very different pieces that I made using everything in the July DD art box. I still have a few of these available for sale and a couple people just wanted to see a couple pieces of work done with all of the items in the box. So I'm going to do two very different pieces here. As you can see, I have a black one and a white one. So you're gonna get the round, the wooden round, birch wood round in your box. And so I primed the one on the left with white gesso, two coats of it. And then the one on the right with black gesso. And as you can see, when I flipped it over, I had taped the sides and the back. I wanna leave the sides of these raw. So I did put the tape around the sides. All right, so there I just used a brush and applied a little bit of clear Elmer's glue onto the white board. And I'm going to use some of the Paris lights, which is included in the box. And I'm just going to gently kind of drizzle it over the spots where I put the glue. Got a little paper towel to keep my mess. So they're just drizzling it wherever I see where I put the glue down. And we're going to let that sit and dry. Now using the black board, I knew that I wanted to use some of the gold leaf, which you're gonna get a huge jar of that gold leaf that you see up there in the right hand corner. You're gonna get a full size of that in this box. So basically you never in your lifetime are going to run out of gold leaf. <laughs> so I used the same technique there, just putting down some clear Elmer's glue with a brush and really just using my gloved hand to kind of smush it and move it around. This was going to sort of act as a backdrop on this piece. And I'm going to set this one aside as well. And I let these two sit overnight to dry and we'll come back in the morning. Okay, here we are all dry. So I'm just taking a dry brush over my paper towel and getting rid of all the excess here. Cleaning up my work area. Okay. Now I'm going to use some of the gold metallic pigment mixed with my little boat tabletop epoxy. And I also have some antique lace mixed up here. And these are all items from the box. And so with these two pieces, instead of doing kind of like a geode look, I knew I wanted to do more of like an abstract look on these. And I think these are a great size. They are about six inches in diameter. And you could sell these as a set. Like I'm actually gonna put these on display as a set of sort of like two planets together, or you could sell them individually. Um, they make really nice gifts. You could use a really high heat resistant resin on these and make them even like mini trivets or uh, giant coasters or something like that, more functional art. And here are some of the gold cuttings and I'm just sort of drizzling in an alternating shape over that gold leaf. The gold cuttings you also do get in the box. And I am now using some gold gala glitz, which you also get in the July art box. So the July art box, as you can probably tell, is all about gold. It's all gold, everything. It has the antique lace in there, which is a very warm off white. I always like to incorporate kind of like a white or an off white in the boxes because I use them in every single piece almost. And I just drizzled the gold metallic there. And now this is that antique lace, giving us some beautiful highlights against that black background. And I just think that's a really pretty abstract looking piece. I, I'm really happy with how it came out. It's a little different for me and I actually, I really like it. And so now on this one, we're just gonna drizzle the clear resin again on the left, drizzling some on the right here to kind of break it up and marry all those colors together. And I'm pretty much gonna leave that one on the right alone. It's basically done. We'll focus on the one on the left. We're doing some more antique lace here again. This one kind of came out really dreamy, kind of cloudy looking. Um, I really think this one turned out very pretty too. Drizzling some more clear and I'm drizzling the clear more so over the glitter parts because I want that to show through. I'll do a little bit of the antique lace over it, but I don't want too much because I still want to see that Paris lights underneath there. Paris lights is one of my favorite glitters. It's one of the most popular ones in my store. It's a beautiful holographic golden glitter um, and it's a sparkler. So it's multi-sized. You have bigger pieces and smaller pieces in there. It's just gorgeous. Hitting with heat as I go to pop bubbles. Here is some of that gold metallic again. And just again, sort of creating more abstract shapes um, coming from one side and really going outward onto the shape of the circle, the round. 
and following along with those lines, having the contrasting lines underneath with the glitter, just making it a little bit more abstract. And that's what I love about resin and fluid art in general is, um, you know, you can control it. There are certain things you can control, certain variables, but a lot of the times the fluid art will just kind of go where it wants and you have to kind of go with it. And you can get these beautiful abstract pieces, not just geodes or coasters, but abstract work as well. Just hitting with heat and I'll just keep plugging along and working with my items as I go. Right here I am adding some of my matte white pigment. That does not come in the box, but I always recommend you have a good matte white in your studio at all times. Because as I mentioned earlier, I use white in almost every single piece that I make. Sometimes I do include the matte white in certain boxes. I will have a box coming later this year with some of the matte white included. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that I'm adding it here, but it does not come in this box in particular. And they're done. I mean, how easy, how easy was that? They have cured, I've pulled tape. I think they look gorgeous. I think these would make awesome little gifts for somebody. And how quick and easy was that? Now we have these beautiful little abstract art pieces with some beautiful texture in there. Oh, so sparkly, that Paris Lights is just gorgeous. So again, guys, if you haven't gotten your July DD art box, I still have some available. I will be doing a video on the August box, so stay tuned for that. I just wanted to get this quick little video out for you guys because I've had a few people asking and I wanted to get it posted. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more free content. And until next time, keep on pouring.